if I were going to the Beyonce concert. This is very bossy, sexy. You guys, I don't know what to wear. Everybody on mute. I don't know, I'm not like a tennis shoe to a concert kind of girl. Hello, beautiful besties, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back, dwellings. Today, you guys, oh my gosh, you guys, this is real time, like for real, for real, right now. I am heading out to the Beyonce concert. Um, let me give you a little backstory, quick 2.5. So I came home from Cancun, what have you, going about my Mary Poppin way, everything was good, all was good. Um. I forgot to even open the channel. Wait, hold up. If you're new here, you guys, I'm Shrey. On this channel, we do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dwellings. So if that sounds like something you are into, you want to become a part of, stop what you're doing. First and foremost, drop me your scent of the day because you know I wanna know what you're rocking. And two, if this is your vibe and you're zhush, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there, tap your notification bell. It's gonna alert you every single time there is a new video placed on this channel. Take it a step further. When I say the besties have been showing out on Instagram, hello? The besties are showing out on Instagram. You guys, we are having full on conversations every single day. Like we are checking in, girl, what's good? What you doing? Guy, what's good? It's been so good over there. So if you have not came over and said hi on Instagram, like girl, guy, what are you waiting for? So go ahead and come over and say hi. Okay, now let me catch you back up. Another quick 2.5 or finishing the quick 2.5. You guys, this video is very informal, okay? So anyways, I came back from Cancun would have you was getting my life together getting everything back in order i had another trip scheduled however i had to postpone it because for some reason i got sick i don't know if it was sinuses i was down for the count okay i was like seriously like what in the world like what happened like i was living my best life and i don't know if it was sinuses if it was a cold whatever it was i was um like oh god i was just sitting there i was so bored i got a lot of work done because I just sat at my desk and I just worked. I had a ton of work to do, so I did get that done. But I so missed filming and I so missed you guys. So if you follow me on Instagram, that's where I was letting everything go down because I couldn't come on and make any videos because it just wasn't giving, okay? But today is giving. So I am still celebrating my birthday because the last week of August, I had kind of got sick. I don't like to use the word sick because it wasn't really sick. I just had like this non-stop cold, sinuses, it's hard to breathe, stuffy nose, sneezing. It was just one of those, right? And my mom was like, it's going around. Everybody's had it. I had it. She's like, drink Theraflu. I was taking everything. Theraflu. What else? Sudafed. I was taking those, um, what is that stuff you pop in the water and it goes shh like that? Like Alka-Seltzer. Tylenol PM, Tylenol Dayquil. I mean, everything I was taking, nothing was working. I was also drinking apple cider vinegar. I'll tell you the truth, that was helping me feel better. And it was helping me <laughs> to stay slim and trim. So I was like, oh my God, this is good. You know, I was trying to find the upbeat, like the silver lighting. I was like, well, I really don't have an appetite. Um, so this is kind of good. I could take off a couple of pounds. You know, not that you ever want to be sick to take off pounds. Anyways, you guys don't take it there. It's not that serious. But anyway, so thank you, Jesus. And thank you all of you for your well wishes, your prayers, everything like that. So I said all that to say, I'm still celebrating my birthday. I'm still celebrating my birthday. My guy was like, okay, I'll give you the first week of September since you lost the last week of August. So he's taking me to the Beyonce concert is why we're here. Girl, so you guys, I don't know what to wear. I mean, I don't know, I really don't know what to wear when it comes to clothes, because she was talking about everybody wears silver, everybody wear, um, you know, white or what have you. You know white is my color, I don't do silver. I'm like, girl, I don't really like silver. I really want to do gold, but time I got out into the stores, this is this week, and I kind of got sick on Sunday, and really didn't start feeling better to start moving around and getting up and going out until probably like Friday. And it's Saturday today, it's Saturday. So I literally had one day, I had planned to take that whole day or that whole week and find myself an outfit and find myself like a bag and everything like that. I kind of ordered a clear bag from Amazon. Oh, I should be showing you guys that, I'll bring it in. Okay, and I had to go get the stuff. So I kind of knew that they were saying that you had to have a clear bag or a bag like yay, small or what have you. We do concerts all the time, so I was like, okay. But I wanted to bring quite a few things because I don't know how I'm gonna feel. So I did pack some cold medicine. I also packed some haws, you know, some Kleenex, some hand wipes, you know, masks, everything like that. So I have this here and this is what, you guys, this is so, I so don't like this bag. It's so ugly. Oh, 
I just don't like it, but I need it. I need it to have all this stuff that I needed to have. I did order these glasses on Amazon as well because I was thinking everybody on mute energy yes but i didn't find anything white to wear so they're not gonna match anything however i always have black so i also ordered these everybody on mute yes yes so i have both of those i don't know if i'm gonna wear them it's not no sun out anyway the sun is going down it was raining today it's gloomy it's cloudy but yeah i'm, I'm happy i mean i'm so happy that i feel so much better a thousand times better and i was thinking the whole time i was like oh my gosh like the whole time i was thinking about i, I mean i was concerned about my outfit but i really wasn't I have watched a ton of videos and everybody was saying just make sure you wear comfortable shoes. All the girls was like, girl, I couldn't feel my feet the next day. I couldn't feel my feet that night. Concert is supposed to be going until probably midnight tonight. And I'm like, oh my God, I haven't even eaten anything. I have to eat something. I forgot about that. Anyways, yeah, so I was like, oh gosh, so I have to have some comfortable shoes. And I really don't have any comfortable shoes like that. Like if you follow the vlogs that I've been uh, posting, I showed you guys or Instagram, these new shoes that I got from Dior and I wanted to wear those. And my guy's like, why are you wearing heels? Like all of the time, like this is, not, oh my God, sure, don't be open. Um, this is not the time to be wearing heels. So I was like, yeah, I know. And I don't want to wear tennis shoes. Like, I don't know. I'm not like a tennis shoe to a concert kind of girl. It's a lot of walking. It's going to be a ton of walking. And so I'm just thinking like, what am I going to do? So I do have these cute shoes by Jimmy Choo that are kind of like slides. Um, but it has a foot to the back of it. And I might pull those off. I got these metallic pants. I got this black kind of like pepelin uh, tank. I don't know what it is, you guys. Full leather, full something. So I might mix that together and rock that. I really don't know. It's just like we're just going to catch a vibe. It's so fun. Like, I love Beyonce. I'm not a beehive. I'm not anything like that. I do uh, like her. I appreciate her. I've been listening to her forever. Every year, um, my guy used to buy me her CD. I think the last one he bought me uh, was, I don't even know what it was, but one of the last ones. He, and then people stopped listening to CD, so that was over. But yeah, I'm like... I, I respect her hustle. I respect respect her work ethic. Like she does the darn thing. Like she is an artist. She is a star. She is, you know, I like the way she sets herself apart. I do love that about her. I love the way that when people come in the comment section, she be on mute. She's like, I'm not going to even entertain you with an answer. You know what I mean? So I do love that about her. Um, but yeah, it's no beehive or anything like that, but I can appreciate good music, talent, and everything like that. So I'm definitely going to support, and I think it's a good time when my guy's like, yeah, I got tickets for the Beyonce concert, and I'm like, oh my god, you're so sweet. So, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I do want to tell you guys, doing my makeup, hello, I think she beat the face, hello, I did that, okay? I did that. I don't know, I was just trying to go for like a glowy sexy sultry type of look and i was like okay <laughs> okay pony you did that anyways okay but anyways you guys okay. so i want to tell you guys about this the prep that i did so this is by diana madison who is an amazing woman who i met a couple of weeks ago and she's just absolutely phenomenal and she looks gorgeous she was telling me i was telling her about my skin I was telling her how my eczema flares up, how I have, you know, like sun uh, damage sometime if I stay in the sun too long, this, that, and other. And she was like, oh my God, I have a skincare line and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my gosh. She was like, I'm going to send you some stuff. And I was like, okay. So she sent me a few things. The first thing she sent me, well, it all came together. She sent me the Glow Factor. This is Rose Hip Oil Hydrating Sheet Mask. You guys, I put this on before I apply my makeup today, but I've been using it. She sent, I think she sent me like five or six and you can order these in a pack of one or a pack of four or five I'll have everything linked in the description box below but I put this on before my makeup I let it sit on it says for about 20 minutes I probably left it on for about 25 everything like that took it off took it off I can't even talk took it off rubbed it and massaged it into my skin and I was good to go this is a first mask that I really didn't need to rinse off, wipe off, wipe anything away. It just definitely seeped into my skin, absorbed into my skin, whatever you wanna use. And it left me glowy and dewy. And I was like, I'm totally here for that. So I wanna share that with you guys. I believe I do have a discount code. This lady was, or woman I should say, was so kind and so sweet. She didn't know me from Joe Smo. I didn't know her. I just happened to be talking to her, telling her about my skin, you know? She was complimenting me and I was like, oh my God, my skin is this, my skin is that. And she's like, oh my gosh, I have a skincare line. Let me send you some stuff. And so I was like, okay, and she did. And then she also has this 
Diana Madison Beauty. This is Glowtopia. It looks like this here. Like I said, everything is gonna be linked in the description box for you below. I put this on before I did my makeup. It's very hydrating. It's a face oil, and I'm all into face oils. Definitely, I go to bed looking like a glow a glow girl like I'm glowing I'm shining I've got everything on my face because skincare is so important to me it just helps with everything I like the way that it helps you to stay youthful looking no bags no wrinkles no any of that kind of stuff you know it's preventative care so she gave this to me or sent this to me I should say and I've been using it and I really like it and then she sent me one more thing she has a cleanser too I haven't tried it yet she's gonna send it to me when she sends it to me I'll tell you about it but this stuff here we did a, a phone call and I hadn't used this yet because I really didn't know how to use it. It's in um, an under eye cream that you would put on and you could put it on at night. You can put it on in the day. She was telling me how she uses it. She says she puts it on before her makeup. She was doing this really huge event and I've been following her on Instagram. So I was watching her behind the scenes how she was getting ready. And I knew I had the Beyonce concert coming up. So I was going to follow the same steps using her products just to see so I can give a true review. So I put this under my eyes just, you know, just like this with the ring finger. And it has saffron in it, which I really really only thought about saffron in fragrances and so it has saffron in it and it's really good it like made my under eyes like hello it's do you see that it like plumped them up I don't know how to say it you guys because I want to just start making up stuff but it made them like plump up it was it left no bags and you know I've been out you know I told you I've been sick for the last week so I was trying to do something to make myself look alive and awoke um because I haven't been out I hadn't getting got any sun I haven't been out the house I just been you know in the house oh my god it was so hard missing my workout too I did try and go out and work a few days out in the garage oh my god what I was doing in 40 minutes okay it was taking me 80 minutes to do I was so trying to get it done though because I can't let the fitness wagon go I'm on my 30 for 30 I started a new 30 for 30 girl please focus and complete one thought okay back to what I was saying so anyways <laughs> this is the under eye cream you guys have to try it um you know if it's not true I'm not gonna say it I don't even have to say that to you anymore you know me by now if I recommend something if I suggest something it's because I really seen benefit from it but there might be somebody new to the channel so let me just say this to you and put you on if it's not true I don't say it I'm gonna tell you the facts about it, what it did for me. Everybody is different, but if you are looking for a sheet mask, if you are looking for a face oil, if you are looking for something for your under eyes and you wanna see something happen immediately, you wanna get this on you. You wanna try this. Everything is gonna be linked in the description box below. I also have a discount code, so check that out. Diana, thank you so much for sending it over. Girl, this stuff right here is the truth. It is the truth, I love it. Okay, now, here's my dilemma. Oh, 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 and she also has, and you guys, I'm wearing this tonight because I'm wearing no sleeves, <laughs> and the muscles are out. She also has this Diana Madison Beauty, and it's a glow oil for the body. It's very hydrating. It's perfect if you're sitting out by the pool, because I did wear this one day, and I um before I did get sick oh I already have sheen on but oh my god it leaves your body so and it's a dry body oil you can put this on and then you can go right outside and put your clothes on and it's not gonna stick it's not gonna like make your clothes weigh down it doesn't make you have like oil stains or anything like that it's super good so I really love this and it smells really good as well so what I'm saying all that to say is that I did my body care I did my skin care I took a shower I put this on out of the shower because I wanted to have some sparkle so yes I am going in with this and then I was thinking about what fragrance I wanted to wear for tonight I'm gonna keep it 100% honest with you guys okay I thought about wearing Creed Aventus for her I have full dedicated reviews to all of the fragrances I'm mentioning on the channel should you want more in-depth detail this is a beautiful bossy fragrance it is fruity it has a beautiful green apple note I told you guys that if I were going to the Beyonce concert here's what I would wear I also said it depends on what I'm feeling. And right now, I really don't know what I'm feeling. I'm kind of happy. I feel kind of sexy. I feel kind of bossy, sassy. I'm going to be with my guy. It's going to be a turn up. It's going to be lit. I don't know. You know what I mean? So I'm feeling a lot of things. Can you tell I haven't filmed in a while? <laughs> I'm so excited. So I did consider Creed Aventus for her, but I don't know. I also considered Goddess by Mugler. This is very much vanilla. It's sexy. It's long lasting. It's a beast. It's kind of edgy in a sense of a sense as well. It's cloudy here, it's gloomy here now. So I kind of don't know, but I did consider Goddess. I also considered Clive Christian. This is very bossy, sexy, um, but sophisticated, and this is money. So, you know, instead of feeling like I got hot sauce in my bag, this is feeling like I got money. I got money in my bag. I got money in my bag. You guys, what is wrong with me today? 
Oh, it's been a minute. I got money in my bag. That's what this is giving me. Of course, I would not be telling the truth if I did not say I did consider Baccarat Rouge 540. And I always, and I already put on the body oil, so I might, okay, I might just put a spritz of this on or at least the hair oil, I don't know. And I don't know if I'm gonna leave the braid or if I'm gonna take it down and do a pony, I don't know yet. Anyways, I did consider this one. This one has a saffron note, the almond note, it's, uh, or ambergris, it's beautiful, it's sweet. It's softer, you can smell it. So I did consider this, and I didn't know if this would be wrong or not. I mean, not wrong, but I don't know how I really felt about this, but if I were to be completely honest, I kinda wanna wear Fenty. And you guys, it doesn't stop there. I kinda wanna wear Fenty, right? But I kinda wanna mix it with, okay. If you throw tomatoes at this screen, if you throw shoes at this screen, if you throw anything up at this screen, when I show you this next fragrance, it's on you. I kinda wanna, gosh, stop judging me. I kinda wanted to wear it with Valaya. I kinda wanted to mix these two together and see what they were giving and wear this, cause I know this is gonna perform. I know it's gonna be loud. And she said wear white and silver. I don't have white and silver. I'm wearing black and gold. So I'm thinking that this is a white and silver that I can wear and still be a part of the movement. And, and to make it kinda, you know, different for the concert event. I like to tie a fragrance with a memory. I thought I'd pair it with this. I don't know what this combo is giving. I've never smelled it before. I've never paired the two before. I love them both. You know, this is Bay. Ah, I don't know. So I did consider that. That's a consideration. I also consider just being safe and just wearing gentle fluidy gold. But I wore this to the Lil Baby concert and it really didn't give and deliver what I was trying to get it to give and deliver. I mixed it with Tom Ford, Lost Cherry. It didn't give. So I was like, okay, you're out. You're definitely not coming. And then if you know anything, you know how I am. I'm considered mixing it with Loewe because Loewe is my new fragrance. Um, I do have a memory tied to it now. That vlog is coming out. If you haven't seen it, I was at Beverly Hills. We hit 80K. Um, we went to Dior. We went shopping. We went to the pop-up shop. So I do have a memory with it now. I kind of did want to wear this with it as well. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I mixed these two a couple of weekends ago. This is a phenomenal combination. So many compliments were given when I mixed these together. So to be honest with you guys, I'm not wearing any of those. The running is gonna be in between this. I am kinda, it might be all three. Let's just be honest. Okay, let's just keep it real. Let's be honest, I'm about to wear all three. There it is, I said it. That's my combo for the Beyonce concert. Nobody in there is going to be smelling better than me. B, here I come. I told you if I was coming, I was probably gonna wear this. Ah, now I'm wearing this. And now I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna be the best smelling gal in there. You guys, I have to go. I really do. We're supposed to be leaving here at five o'clock. It is 4.13. I haven't tried my clothes on. I really don't know. I got about three pair of pants in there, three shirts, uh, two pair of shoes, and I don't know what's gonna look like what. Um, so I don't know what it's gonna give. You know, if I like the outfit, and I like how everything turns out, or I'm okay with it, I should say. I'm gonna pop a picture so that you can see it. Probably gonna insert some clips from the concert as well. Like I said, this is just an all around the way fun video. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you like these kind of videos, give it a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you're going to the concert, if you went to the concert, let me know what you wore. There is a bestie to the channel. She was helping me out yesterday. She was telling me she went to the concert. I can't remember what fragrance she wore, but she sent me so many pictures on different stuff to order and how to order it fast with fast uh, uh, shipping. I was telling her what kind of shoes did she wear, how comfortable was it, she looked so cute. So shout out to you, girl. Thank you for sharing that with me. Um, I found some stuff, I'm gonna just put it together and see what it gives. At this point, it's just like we're going for a good time. Not a long time, if you know, you know. That's it, again, thank you so much to Diana Madison for sending this out to me. I truly appreciate it. Love your product, I mean, the makeup is giving, okay? I did my sheet mask. Oh, and you guys, I did like an Instagram thing on my stories where I was sharing with you me wearing the sheet mask. I looked absolutely crazy, but it was real. And I'm always gonna give you real over here. Brought the whole look together, and this is a finished product. So I am super excited, you guys. I have to go. I could talk to you all day. I have missed you. 
I love you like I love cooked food. Thank you so much to everyone who showed up and supported me at my Bare Minerals video. It was so amazing to work with Bare Minerals. It was a sponsored video and I truly appreciated that. It was like a nostalgic moment for me. Um, I won't even go and spare you the details about why. Go watch the video if you wanna see it. And then also I got a, a chance to do a hair video with Timo. They reached out as well. So like I said, when I said I was diversifying the content, just stuff like that, just different stuff. So it was really fun. Like I said, I was challenging myself. I was like, oh my God, not me being out here blow drying my hair. It was really fun. So I, sh I really appreciate all of you who went over and supported those videos. If you haven't, it's not too late. You can head over, show some love. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. If you have not came over and say hi on Instagram, make sure you do because everything will be going down over there. Thank you again to everybody for stopping by my channel. You know, I love you like cooked food. I will see you besties in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill, be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous. Thanks for watching. Bye.